as you know it's been a long time since I have made a video and I just wanted to check in and, and give a little explanation uh, going into this spring we took our bee suit business comfort pro which we started in connection to newbie university we first made these jackets for newbie university uh, this is a very early prototype uh, just for our students and it turned out that we liked them and people liked them enough uh, we we showed them to a, a local bee supply store and he said as soon as you can get me some of these i'll start selling these instead of what i have and so that began our journey uh, in comfort pro suits and um, that really took off this spring with us getting into over 10 different retail uh, bee supply stores around uh, mostly Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, uh, Tennessee area. Uh, also we have one all the way in uh, New York and one in Missouri and uh, so that unfortunately coincides with beekeeping season because when uh, beekeepers are busy is when they're out buying bee suits and uh, so that has made us super busy when we should be beekeeping and this bee yard is a result of that as you can see we're in November and I have supers on these hives still and a uh, weed issue in this bee yard for sure so I take advantage of having a couple days in a row here where it's going to be 70 degrees it's a little unusual for this time but as you can see the bees are flying if they can get through those weeds in the front of the hive uh, so we're going to go ahead and pull off these supers uh, we will leave what we need on for winter and I don't have a problem leaving an extra super or two even on for the winter but this is a little excessive here so we'll get down anything that is not fully capped we'll move out of the bee yard but leave it where the bees can rob it out and that'll allow them to put it in the brood nest where they need it for winter so it'll be a good uh, I'm not feeding the bees so it'll be a good way for them to get now, better than sugar water, they're going to get some honey to put back in, in right around the brood nest where they, wherever they see fit right now, going into, into winter where they want it. Um, any supers that are full, we'll pull off. Uh, of course, leaving them enough. I don't have a problem leaving an extra super or two because we can take it off in the spring if we want, and if they need it, they'll have it. But we can't have these towers, uh, so I need to take at least three or four of those supers off, whether they're full or partial or whatever. So. This is my project for today, and that's also a little update of why we haven't, unfortunately, made uh, any recent educational videos, which I really love doing, so I'm, I'm sad. Uh, and this one is actually just recorded on my phone, which I never do. Um, but hopefully through this winter and going into next spring, we can get caught up with things uh, and do some more videos. The good news is I did treat all these bees, so uh, that was priority if you miss treating bees, uh, that's, that can lead to worst case scenario. So leaving these on, we've had a couple nights in below freezing, but these bees, they're all active. They, bees are more resilient to temperature than we give them credit for. Um, people keep bees in very northern cold climates. So here in Kentucky is nothing for these bees. Um, but I don't, I want to give them the best chance and leaving these towers of supers is not their best chance. So we'll, We'll work on this today in the few hours we have left of sunlight and uh, get this bee yard in shape. 